In iOS 14, SwiftUI gains the ability to put SpriteKit views directly into your view hierarchies at full speed with physics and more. Let's try it out with some real code. First things first, make sure you import SpriteKit, that being the most important part of this whole thing. Second, define your game scene. I'll make a really simple game scene here, just so we can see it all working with physics and so forth. I'll say class game scene inherits from SK scene. I did move to view method here, and in there I'll make a physics body for our world be equal to SK physics body using the edge loop from initializer with its frame. Then I'll make a touches began method. And one of the first thing in here I'll say is uh, guard let touch equals touch equals touches dot first else return. So attempt to read the first touch on the screen. Then we'll find where they touched in the scene by doing let location equals touch dot location in self. At this point, we're going to create a new box where they touched and give it some physics. So I'll say let box equals a new SK sprite node using the color size initializer. For the color I'll say dot red and the size I'll say CG size with a width of 50 and a height of 50 like that. Now what I'll say to this thing, you are positioned at the location where they tapped and you have a physics body equal to SK physics body using the rectangle of initializer down here. And I'll do again CG size width 50, height 50. And finally add that child to our game scene. That's the entire Swift uh, uh, sprite kit scene I'm gonna add here. Obviously you'll have your own game with more advanced stuff in there, but that's enough for a test out. And now in our content view, we want to show that somehow. It's really important when putting sprite kit content into Swift UI that you give the sprite kit scene a size. If you're loading this thing from an SKS file, you'll get a size automatically because it's baked into the SKS file. Here you're doing it programmatically, so I've got to give it a size by hand. I'll do that with a computed property in my content view struct here. I'll say var scene is an SK scene. I'll do let scene is a new game scene. Scene.size is, and I'll use CG size, uh, width of 300, height of 400. I'll also ask the scene uh, to give a scale mode equal to dot fill so it will resize correctly. And then return that scene back to be used. And now finally in our body for our content view, we can use a sprite view. We can say to sprite kit, I want to have uh, your scene loaded into here, into the Swift UI view with a particular size and so forth. So let's say I want a sprite view here using that scene I just talked about with a frame width of 300, height of 400. I'll press Command R to run that back in the simulator. Now again, this uses SpriteKit natively, so you get super fast graphics, physics, and more. Here we go. I'll press, down comes a box, I'll add some more, down come lots of boxes, all with physics and more. 